Hey everyone, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday. Hope you liked the Peru episode. As you know, this is the part where we talk about the small little mistakes we made or things that didn't quite make it into the video. For one, uh, yeah, we had a few uh, small spelling mistakes. And also, the national animal of Peru is actually not the llama. It's the Vicuña? Yeah, I was shocked when I found that out. Peru, everybody knows the llama. Like, what the? Also, there are a bunch of like cool little fun facts that we didn't put in the video. For example, in Cusco's cathedral, they have a painting of the Last Supper in which Jesus and his disciples are eating cuy. Keeping it with the Peru theme, haha. <laughs> we did mention potatoes originated in Peru, but we didn't mention the incredibly important role potatoes played in this world's population. It helped somewhere around a quarter of the entire population grow between 1700 to 1900. In some tribal communities, they practice trial marriage, in which if the husband and wife get a divorce and they have children, the children are actually under the custody of the community, not the parents. Also, before many couples get married, they go into a period of servancy, in which they have to work and live with their in-laws. They have some supposedly the oldest mummy in the world that was found in the Atacama Desert. I wanted to talk a little bit more about Caral Supe. It is thought to be the oldest site occupied by humans discovered in the Americas. And also despite the common pattern of political upheavals, poverty has actually significantly reduced from about 60% to 25% from 2004 to 2012. I guess uh, lots of tourism money helps. There's also a lot of other things I could have mentioned, but if you have anything you want to say, just put it in the comments. Otherwise, we gotta move on. So without further ado... Ah, Peru, it was so fun researching this country because we all kind of know about the generic info, you know, like Machu Picchu and ceviche and stuff. So it was kind of a challenge to find the lesser known obscure facts like Capacola, or the fact that about 10 to 20% of the population may have East Asian roots. In any case, they have a flag and we got to talk about it. The flag is a vertical tri-band of two colors, red on the sides, white in the middle. Often you may see the flag defaced with a coat of arms, but we'll talk about the coat of arms later in a bit. The white in the middle stands for purity and peace and... The red stands for Ooh, it has been so long since we've had a blood animation. Thank you so much, Peru, for making the red stand for the blood of those who fight for the freedom. Oh, and uh, speaking of which, you can get a blood of those who fight for the freedom t-shirt on geographynow.com. Beautiful stuff. Oh, oh, we also have Geography Now mugs. And thank you, Ken, for making that animation. Anywho, the flag has gone through quite a few changes over the years. Of course, first they started out under the Spanish. After independence, though, in 1820, they had this flag. Then two years later, they switched to this, which looked like an arch nemesis of Argentina flag flag and then three months later they switched to like vertical bands and then three years later they switched the sun to the coat of arms for three years they joined bolivia in a confederation and had this flag the south side kind of did their own thing and after the dissolution of the confederation they went back to the original now as mentioned often you can see the flag with the coat of arms on it which is a great transition because we're going to talk about the coat of arms right now the coat of arms is a shield divided into three sections the upper left image depicting the national animal the vicuña representing the animals of peru in the upper right is an image of of a cinchona tree representing the flora of Peru, which is actually the source of quinine, a substance used to fight against malaria, and is also the flavor of tonic water. Fun fact. And finally, the bottom image depicts a cornucopia with coins spilling out, representing the mineral resources of the country. On the sides of the shield are Peru flags draping down, and on the top is a crown of holm oak. And keep in mind, there's another coat of arms. It looks like this. It has a palm and laurel reef on the sides, tied with a ribbon at the bottom with colors of the Peru flag. Otherwise, historically, they've had a lot of other variants of their coat of arms. They all generally kind of follow the same format with small little minor iterations here and there. However, the first version kind of looked like a freaking Marvel Avengers movie poster with a billion things going on. I don't have time to explain it. Just look at it. It looks cool. And so, yeah, that is uh, just about it. So that means you know what time it is. It's time for Geography Fan Mail Time. Oh, so we are here again for Fan Friday. And as you know, we always need to have guest stars. So here they are, Mr. Caleb and Noah. Yay. You guys have done this many times. We always start off with postcards. Susie, I think, and Greg, who visited Poland. A postcard here from Finland. Yare, from Finland, here again. All right, right here I've got a postcard from uh, Eunice from uh, Marrakech. Anais from Toulouse, France. So I got here a postcard, a Hong Kong postcard from Arnie. It said, P.S. Keith, I bet you're excited about the new Tool album. Keith just left. All right. <laughs> All right, here I've got a postcard from Matthew and Elise. They vacation in the Outer Banks, North Carolina. This is funny. Um, this is from Montenegro, 
from Tia, the Ten Commandments of Montenegro. If you guys didn't watch the episode, Montenegrins are known as the laziest country on earth. Ireland. Corktown Co. Wexford. Saying keep up the great work and rock on Keith and stay frosty, Noah. You make sure to Thanks. stay frosty. Stay oh, frosty, my friends. See as how frosty I can stay. Call me the Ice Man. I thought it was Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's Mr. Freeze. No, that's Mr. Oh, that's Freeze. Victor Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Ice to meet Netflix. you. <laughs> that was Arnold's best role. Yeah. For <laughs> sure. Uh, this is from, it says, hi, Barbs and Noah. Good, good, good. Hello. Man. From the Balearic Islands in Spain, Clements and somebody else. Uh, <laughs> he's not, these guys aren't the only people that are part of this team. I get no respect on this. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got a wolf. This person's from wolf. This person is a wolf. Poland. <laughs> All the best from Delfina. Thank you, Delfina. Delphine <laughs> is the white Aquatar alien ranger from Power Rangers, all right? That's seriously the thing that came to your mind? Or Here I have a postcard from Jim. <laughs> That's a Jim and Jam. He's a Dutch geographer peeps. It inspired him to visit Iran, mm. Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan this summer. Oh, well guess what, Caleb? Hi, Woo! Caleb! Oh, hi, Caleb, and, and others. others. I I own this show. You you got somebody. Caleb and others. <laughs> you just take this one. This is great. Uh, we just visited Iper. Iper? A city in Belgium. A city in, in Belgium. In Belgium. Uh, Alexandra and Alexi. These guys send you a lot of stuff. They do. I gotta meet these people at some point. Uh, thank you, Peter from Germany. All right, uh, hey Barbs and Geography Now crew, I'm Francis from Philadelphia. And we stayed in London for four nights and now we're in a small magical town called Glastonbury. Hey. hey guys, my name is Gary Harlow. Yeah, um, Caleb, Caleb has an alter ego. Let me just say, this is a fantastic postcard. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's hard to make out what the name is. Well, uh, we got another German, Johannes. We have so many Germans today, uh, who uh, visited, what is this? Uh, FKK Sport and Freizeitpark Zonensee. Sure, okay. Um, hi Paul and Geography Now team. Greetings from Principality of Liechtenstein. I stopped by here on my way to Portugal. Continue the great work. Grigan. I don't get it. It's fine. Though. That's okay. You don't have to understand. They don't have to understand. It's just joke. Here we have a postcard from Grady. They recently went to Denver as one last family trip before going to college to major in social studies, education, and entrepreneurship. Uh, this is from Helvetica, otherwise known as Switzerland, from Traven. Traven, are you okay? Mm -hmm. you they bled all over the postcard. This, this postcard has a lot of like blood on it, I guess. Oh Cats and blood, what's going on? I don't know. From Zuzi and looks like Greg, but could not be Greg. It says, hi guys, as promised, here's card two out of two from our Poland trip. Uh, thanks for all the episodes. We love your channel. P.S. Waiting for the Poland episode. Just wait. It's alphabetical. So it's coming up. Chiara visited, what is this? Sleeping Bear Dunes in uh, uh, above Lake Michigan. We've got a photograph here of a... Look at this photograph. Every time it ever makes me laugh. <laughs> Look at this Romanian castle. Um, but it's from Maria and Mladen. Here we have a postcard from Alaska. Hi Barbie, my name is Ian I am from New Jersey. I've been watching your episode since the China episode and I can't wait until you cover Sudan and South Sudan. I saw on a TV show uh, a guy paid for his dental work in salmon. Like, <laughs> in, in Alaska you can barter. You can actually barter stuff. You don't have to always oh, use man. cash. And uh, finally, oh, this should be for you because hello Caleb! Finally getting the respect I deserve. <laughs> and everyone else. We all know that I carry this team on my back. Uh, I go to school in Missoula. Montana. Well, anyways, I appreciate you giving me the respect I deserve, Jonah. All right, so now we're gonna do letters and packages. You did not write any letter. You sent in really cool book, Pocket Atlas of Remote Islands. It shows like remote islands and it gives facts about them and it's really cool and it shows the maps. Oh, my name is Hanish. I'm from Bangalore, India, but currently I'm on vacation in the United Arab Emirates. I'm writing this letter from my hotel room. I missed you and Caleb by 48 hours. Paul and I went to Dubai on a layover for a while. Oh, you could have met us. Hopes that we had a good time in the Republic of Somaliland for the geography. Caleb, what was your biggest takeaway from that whole trip? Um, because it has Somalia in the name, a lot of people associate it with Somaliland, so uh -huh. people think it's a very dangerous country with pirates and, um, terrorists and stuff. It was actually quite the opposite. I felt very safe while I was there. Mm -hmm. oh Berbera was Berbera. so hot. Oh my gosh, that was the hottest place ever. It was like was 100 billion degrees. So, we have here. Oh, jeez. We have. Whoa. 
drum and lyre chord. Thank you, Jaren, for sending in your high school flag. All right, well, I got this uh, letter from Abby from Japan. You sent in painting and a magnet. All right, what we got next here is we got Eric S. A souvenir from my first trip to Holiday World. Oh, Santa Claus, Indiana. Oh yeah, there's a town in Indiana called Santa Claus. And I'm so thankful that you got us a towel because I am often moist. By the way, have you guys noticed uh, Caleb's hair is very swoopy now? Yes. So you can actually flick it with, with grace and poise. <laughs> Dear Paul, Caleb, and the Geography Now squad, did he mention us? Man, I'm getting more Caleb. No mention of Noah, Hannah, the guy with the crazy hair. These are the postcards. He also sent Saint Petersburg. A calendar. We need to make a geogra a geography team calendar. We just oh, we all should. pose like firefighters. This is from Chicago. My name is Sam. I'm from, uh, I'm a huge fan of the show. I've technically been watching since the Myanmar episode, but I started with Afghanistan and binge watched everything. Um, enclosed in is, is an assortment of foreign coins. I have also a few Chicago trinkets. By the way, Barbs, I know you lived in Chicago for a while, so I have to ask, Cubs or White Sox? I grew up on the North side, so you know where I kind of stand at. Yeah, Cubs territory. I Sorry. Got, I've got a better question Cubs for you. all the way. Pokemon or Digimon? <laughs> Here we have a package from Armenia. This person's name is Hovig. They have been following us since the Armenia episode. Fun fact, in Los Angeles, Glendale, California, is the largest population of Armenians outside of Armenia. You lived in many countries, but Armenia. Hey, that's cool. Great. Here we go, Armenian Dudek. We have an Armenian rug mat. Nowadays. How do you play this? Two Armenian brandy like bottles. Thing. Wait, there's brandy in here? Out of my way. Armenian designed apron, wine holder, which is hand carved, and a Republic of Nevada, Ryan, which, Yeah, that's a controversial thing. So, uh, controversy, um, this is the Armenian flag, and the controversial one, the Republic of Artsakh, which is disputed with Azerbaijan. If you show this flag to an Azerbaijani, they will get really mad. <laughs> Oh, I think I got it. This sounds very, I shot an Armenian wedding and the whole day was just dancing and, and music playing and there was this band, band. Oh, this, this instrument was played at the wedding like the whole day. All right, so uh, Caleb got two big boxes from fans. All right, so uh, full disclosure, I've already opened them. So you may remember from the last <laughs> fan slash flag Friday <laughs> when I exclaimed, that I like Sprite. And Federico said, this is for Caleb. He said he likes Sprite, so here's some Sprite. Like Keith <laughs> is to Twisties, Even Caleb bottles. is to Spritesies. These will be gone tomorrow. Caleb so. loves Sprite. Yeah, yeah. But that's not all. You'll also remember. Um, so this is from Spencer from Massachusetts. Caleb, I hope this is, doesn't come as too much as a surprise after you said you wanted shoes, and that was just like, <laughs> challenge accepted. Boat shoes like these are very popular here in New England, have been for both men and women ever since they were invented by the Sperry Company. Um, I hope you enjoy them. I can tell you what, Spencer, I absolutely will, and I'm gonna put these on right now. That. Look at that. I love I the mean, flamingo socks go perfectly with it. Absolutely stunning. This is... Spencer, you're an absolute legend, and I'm finally getting the respect I deserve on this show. <laughs> well, that is just about it, guys. Uh, thank you for sending everything. I love putting your home countries and hometowns on display. But in the meantime, do you guys have anything else you want to say to the Jagger peeps out there in Jagra world? I like Sprite! I like Sprite, too. But tell you what. Thanks, guys. What's your awesome. shoe size? My shoe size? <laughs> Very, it depends on the brand sometimes, but usually it's about a 12. And if you want to send anybody uh, any kind of... <laughs> Timberlands. Timberlands! Timberlands. <laughs> you don't have to. Noah is a boot boy. Uh, but if you want to send some... Uh, Cream soda. Uh, oh, yourself, buy, buy dope shirts. You get yourself one of these shirts right here. Keith shirts at geographynow.com. Don't forget, guys. Five my hand. Nope. <laughs> slap, slap a dead. Slap a dead hand. Yes. All right, it is time for our return address contest. As you know, I put all your return addresses in this bag. I pick one out, and whoever wins gets a Geography Now notepad and button. All right, let's grab one. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Ama from Indonesia. You just won. All right, so that's just about it. Thank you so much. You've just been flagged. Stay cool. Stay tuned.